Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to take apart and show you how to fix your, your Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. This is the original Flex Brew, model number 49976. So they sold a bunch of these Flex Brews. They have a newer one out. I've also got a video on how to take it apart. But this is the older one. And I've had some viewers say that they've had a water leak out the back of the craft side. So coming out the bottom of the machine, they'll get water around the back side. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to take it apart and fix that. And along the way, we're going to see if there's anything else that could break that we might be able to fix. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug it and we're going to leave it unplugged for the entire duration. Okay, so on the bottom, it's got like these security bits. You're going to need these security screws. It's like a tri-wing. So I got this kit at Harbor Freight and the bit looks like this. Now I have in the past get a small straight slot. You can wedge a small straight slot in there. Um, if it's not very stout, it will just bend the straight slot, but you can wedge it in there if you've got a really uh, tough straight slot and get those out. Otherwise, it's going to take this, you know, it looks like a try. Like a... Okay, so with all those screws, that panel should come off now. Okay, so here comes the panel off. So it could be just one of these has come off, these, these tubes. If so, you can just put it back on and use that steel clamp. Same with that. But I think more than likely it's another one up here. So you can also get to this screw or this uh, tube right here. So if this tube has come off, you can put it back on. Use a pair of needle nose to put that clamp back on. Okay, so let's start with this side over here. So lift these two tabs up and then this panel is, is you're going to disconnect these along the way. Looks like we got a screw here. Let's take this screw out. So this is just a number two Phillips. And then along the sides, we these things just pop out. So it gets a little tricky right through here. If you just get your screwdriver in there and just give it a little bit of a pry. Same with on this other side, use a screwdriver and just give it a little bit of a pry. So they will eventually pop out. Now I didn't have any of mine break. So if you're just persistent with it, they will pop out. So here's what that side panel looks like off. You've got to be able to get to these two screws and then this panel will pop off. Okay, once we got that side panel off, we can see in here, this is where the water goes for the K-cup side to get heated. You know, it could be one of these tubes that have come off. It could be this tube, these tubes right here. There is a micro switch. So if your machine is not working, it has to see that the door is closed and then that micro switch makes. Okay, on this bottom left side, let's take this screw out. And then right here, there's a screw. Okay, with those two screws out, that's getting us a little more access. We can start to see some more pipes that might have come loose. Okay, but we need to do a little more work on this side. So getting this side popped off, again, I got these two screws here off. This one turned out to be quite a challenge, but once you get it started, then you can just take a screwdriver and they should pop, you'll hear them pop off. And again, just like the other side, this side panel will pop off. Just kind of use two screwdrivers. Just work it around. You're, dis you're disengaging those hooks. And these, these can be pretty tricky. You know, it feels like you might be breaking something, but if you just take your time, they will pop loose. So this side was a lot more challenging. I did break a couple, a couple of these, but they should disengage and it should pop off. Now I got access to two more screws here and here, just like I did on this other side. Those are Phillips screws. Okay, so now with those loose. Okay, so before we can get this back panel off, there's a hidden screw. So we're gonna have to take this out, but behind here, there's another hidden screw. 
Okay, so be careful. These, this lid is not really designed to come off, so you gotta be careful. I did break the pin, the hinge pin, but there's that screw. So if you forget about that screw, it will just break off. So here's the one that's usually undone. Okay, so that took a lot of work to get it all opened up. But here's this tube. So if this tube comes off, you can just use a pair of needle nose and put that clamp back on. It could be one of these hoses that comes off or it could be this hose right here. So let's take a look. There is a thermostat on the K cup side also. And there's the water pump for the K cup side. Looks like it's pretty hard to get to. And then there's like a control board right here. So another problem it could be with the coffee maker is sometimes these thermostats open up. So put your meter to ohms and you should have continuity. And we should have continuity across this thermostat. So it's got this, that's a clamp that's holding it, but there's a wire coming off here and here. So I'm gonna put the meter here to here and we should have continuity. If it's open, that means the thermostat's bad. Okay, so I've got it across both wires and I've got continuity. If it shows open or open line, OL or, or overload, then it's bad. And you can change those thermostats. So I've never seen this, but it's got, this is just a clamp, like a spring clamp that's holding that thermostat in. And you can take that spring clamp off. So the spring clamp comes off. There's your thermostat. So there's a close up of the thermostat. Looks like KSD 301-15.0. But the trick is getting the wires back on the new thermostat. You know, those are almost spot welded on there. I'm not sure solder is going to hold up because this gets really hot here. So solder might melt. But you can put the thermostat back on. And then use this clip. It's got like a long part here that goes there to hold the thermostat on. And just clip it. So yeah, I've never seen that's a very nice way to get the thermostat on and off. So it is a lot of work to open it up, but you can gain access to almost every tube on it if yours is leaking. Again, it's usually this one here, I think. I've always thought the display was really dim, but I don't see a way to change the display. So an interesting note, so we took that screw out. That didn't really help us, but it does help us do some cleaning on it. So, and this came off pretty easy. If you kind of shove it to one side, this will come off pretty, I didn't break anything. And then this comes out and we can do some cleaning down in here. And that's a, look at that, that's a, a, a wire mesh screen which could get clogged. So I didn't see where you could take anything else apart but make sure that that wire mesh screen isn't, uh, hard water deposits aren't covering it. Make sure it's, you can see the tube down in there. Make sure you, that's all nice and clean. And there's a tube right there that goes down into the heating element. So it's interesting what it does is it, that's just open to the tank, is it just heats the water up. Once it's to a certain temperature, then it turns the pump on and pumps it through the, um, the cake up. So that's kind of neat how that works. So I hope this video helps. I also took apart the other Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. They got a newer one out. And it's completely different than this one. It's got a tube from the K-cup side over here that kind of leaks. And I'll show you about that one. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.